Whoa, hey there person over the internet, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, a big scary shark that would totally eat me. Well, I hope to, over the next few minutes, tell you why thinking like that is bad. That was a grey nurse shark, or sand tiger shark, or ragged tooth shark in some areas of the world. Carcaeus taurus is found along coastal areas, such as the east and west coast of Australia. And, according to scientists, the east and west coast populations are genetically different. It has a large, stout body, flattened conical snout, small eyes, and a, la a long mouth extending behind the ears and all like teeth used for clamping down on food and mates during mating. The fearsome looks have, co have caused it to be the target of a misguided population since the 1800s as being seen as a man-eater driving it to near extinction. The grey nurse shark is very docile and will only attack when provoked. With an estimated population of 500 to 1,300 along the east coast, the species may disappear within the next few decades if trends continue. Apex predators such as sharks are important for keeping the trophic levels or food web in order, and if an apex predator is lost, a trophic cascade can occur, possibly devastating an ecosystem. Carcaeus taurus is adversely affected by the practice of shark fin fishing. It involves cutting off the dorsal fins and tail flukes of a shark and then throwing the rest of the body overboard to die of either suffocation or predation. Grainless fins are priced at $400 Australian per kilogram and are targeted regularly due to this. Due to this. Other impacts on the grey nurse shark involve net fishing, which causes the large fish to get tangled in the net as bycatch and die. As well, divers have been observed to disturb grey nurse sharks, even when in compliance with diving regulations. As well, mesh, net mets mesh nets at beaches have also been known to kill sharks. How may we help protect this docile and important species of shark, I hear you ask. Well, listen up, and I can tell you just a few methods used to protect this amazing species. Ecotourism is a growing market and useful for several reasons, such as replacing old practices with more eco-friendly options, as well as raising awareness for species and bringing financial aid. However, if not supervised and managed properly, it can have a negative impact on the species it is trying to protect. By implementing tunnel extruders in nets, the bycatch of large, vulnerable species such as sharks, rays, and turtles can be reduced by 40 to 100 percent, as shown by a prototype from the Dutch. Small nets can also be a great way to reduce the amount of bycatch, or, while be being just as effective at catching target species. Beach anti-shark nets are only set out in Queensland, New South Wales, and South Asia, and cause shark to get sharks to get tangled in them and die. As said by Gruber in 1991, in places such as the United States, the law presumes that getting, getting bitten or attacked by an animal in its natural condition does not induce any liability whatsoever. Two very important strategies that are needed are legislation and international cooperation. The grey nurse shark was the first shark species to be protected and is currently listed as endangered in New South Wales under the Commonwealth Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999. Practices such as shark fin fishing need to be properly banned or regulated. Campaigns to ban fishing in fin fishing in certain Asian countries have been unsuccessful as it is seen as a symbol of high status in those countries. Regulating it is it so that endangered species like the grey nose shark are protected, allowing certain shark species to be used but humanely need to be implemented. Providing aid for research can also be useful to better understand the species. And Australia could also reform its marine box in order to cover more areas that the grey nose shark is found. So Thank you person over the internet for listening to me talk about the grey nose shark. I hope this video cleared up some misconceptions about shark species for you and has allowed you to see how important it is to preserve such a great species.